Hello everybody, it's that I really shouldn't be wearing headphones for this author here, and today we are going to be watching the Max and Ruby 0004 Rest in Peace Mommy and Daddy retake by Aicha? Aicha? I don't know, but I know her as the Shadow Blazer, so I'll just call her Blazer for the sake of this. She personally recommended this to me herself. I know she's been working on this for a very long time, storyboarding it, sorting it, whatever. So I'm very eager to see what she has made, and I'm going to drop a like immediately. So the link to this retake will be in the description down below, and let's do this. Okay. Oh, we're getting right into it. Accent Ruby. Duh, duh, duh. Played backwards. I'm guessing. I'm liking the look of this so far. Yeah, this is so going backwards. Sorry about that, guys. I had to turn the audio up a little bit more just in case. I used to hear the Max of Ruby intro a lot because my nephew used to watch it. Oh. Okay, there's the episode. Parents Day. Oh, sorry, I was taking a swig of my um, Coke Zero, but wow. That's a cool edit to this title card. It looks very realistic, like it belongs in the show. Oh, there's Max chasing after Ruby. That face. It's such a shame. A shame for what? Oh, sh oh. Okay, we're just getting right into this. Jesus. Oh, God. Either somebody's trying to swallow plastic or somebody's getting gut. Oh. And they've lost their eyes. Rest in peace, mommy and daddy. That's kind- that's alright, actually, for a tombstone that she's added in, um, to the whole background. It looks okay, it doesn't look too out of place, but it's pretty good. Poor Max and poor Ruby. Can't tell if they're breathing or just crying, or maybe a little bit of both. It's kind of hard to tell when they don't have a face. Well, yeah, she animated all of this herself and everything, so... Absolutely proud of that because I could never animate myself. I can't draw, all I can do is write. So, any animation really, I've got to praise. Hmm. How long are they going to be here for? Hopefully, not too long. I don't know because it's been a while since I've watched the, or read uh, Max and Ruby 0004, so I've kind of forgot a little bit about what you know the story contains. I only know this. And the ending where it's like, death is our only re- Okay. Where death is our only release. <laughs> oh, Ruby's crying. Oh, there's the dad. To think for the longest time, I didn't think Max and Ruby even had parents, because it took them so many years to introduce the parents to the show. I just thought, like, their grandparents were taking care of them and that was that, but... Hey-ho. I'm loving this background sound. This is very nice. Oh, oh, he's got an axe. Oh, that is so much better than the original animation. Look at that. Oh. And now she's gone. Whoa. Okay. Oh, Max. Oh, jeez. It's not the answer, buddy. Oh, okay. And let me guess it's gonna... Oh, this is actually really good voice acting. I can tell that's Blazer's voice. She's doing very well. He's probably in his room. At least I think that's Blazer's voice. Uh oh. Uh oh, yep. Uh oh. That's a pretty appropriate face. Oh, and she lost her eyes. Okay. Wow, that was a loud scream. <laughs> Let me guess if the black tear's gonna come now. Yeah, you can see him right here. 
This is actually very nicely uh, made crying. It doesn't sound too fake or too stock screamy. Well, not stock scream. Well, I can never say stock on its own anymore because I'm used to saying stock scream for suicide mouse. But yeah, it doesn't sound like a stock sound effect. I don't think it was. I think it was actually done by one of the people who worked on it. Also, love the detail on Ruby's clothing down here. Oh. You're not gonna jump at the screen, are you, Ruby? If so, that's gonna be very rude because we need to pay for that. Or you need to pay for that if you break the screen. These cameras don't come cheap, love. Now she's just giving me the stink eye. I don't know what's gonna happen. Jesus, how far are these tears gonna go? They're gonna go down her shirt? Or are they gonna stop? Also, one thing I noticed is it's gone a little bit square here at the end, like with this one. It's not like as rounded as the other one should be. I can't draw for crap though, so I'm not really one to be criticizing. I just figured I'd point it out. Is she gonna scream and then it's gonna cut to black? What's, what's gonna happen here? I hate it when it does this, like, when there's a lot of suspense because it suddenly gets you out of nowhere with, like, a scream or a staticky sound effect or a cut to black or something. I'm ready for it. Come on. I know something's gonna happen. Give it enough time. Give it enough time. But genuinely, though, like, obviously I know how bad the original story is. This is very well made. And yeah, I'll keep praising this because I really like it. You know, compared to other Max Ruby 0004 remakes I've seen, or just general uh, versions of it, this is really nice. Obviously, it's not as professional, but I think that's kind of what I like about it a little more. Oh, okay. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in peace, mommy. Wow. Why did her eyes go blue? I'm not sure if that's in the original story. All right, let's hear what Ruby's saying. Watching this. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Ruby. She knows. She's on to us. She's, she's coming to get us. <laughs> this is because you haven't watched me and my brother's episodes. I used to watch you when I was a little kid. My nephew used to watch you too. So one of these days, you will regret this. Well, I'm safe. I don't know about you guys. I used to watch this show all the time. Oh. Okay, see you, Ruby. Oh, there it is. Death is our only release. I like the font. And I think that's... Yeah, that's just it, except for the credits. No jumps here. Alright, here are the credits. A Spooky Bunny production. Yep, that's Blazer and... Oh, who's that? Oh my god, it's me! It's the guy, it's the Dark Author from YouTube. I'm joking, yeah. She was very, very kind to um, have me as a creative director because I helped her with some of the sprites and other things as well, or some of the drawings and other general directions, so massive thank you to her for including me in this. It's very sweet. And I'm going to cut it off here, but you can see all the other ones here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Voices of, yeah, it was Blazer as Ruby. Yep, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to cut it off there. This was very well made. <coughs> GG, that's a clap. I'm not sure if the microphone's picking it up, but it probably is. Anyways, if I had to rate this, honestly, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, genuinely. I think this is very well made. Obviously, some of the art is a little bit rough around the edges, but for such a small team... This is a very, very, very well-made effort for Max and Ruby 0004. So thanks a lot, uh, Blazer, for giving me permission to react to this video and everything. Again, please go and check her out in the description below. She did a very good job with this. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, my docs. If you enjoyed the video and you would like to continue the scares, be sure to click one of the videos on the left or right and click the channel logo to subscribe 
and check the description if you want to join the Discord. Thank you for watching, and stay scared.